Okay guys, uh, let's make ourselves a spreadsheet, you know? This is gonna help us through the whole simulation. This is important. All right, cool. So, as I said before, some simulations have different numbers. They start with different numbers. Now, the one that we're working on right now is the most common, okay? So, chances are you have these numbers. So, this spreadsheet is gonna help you through all of your rounds. Now, if you have a different set of numbers, the way the process that we are working in here to make a spreadsheet is uh, gonna work perfectly for you, okay? All right, so first is first, um, I made a small template. I'm gonna move it over here so you guys can take a look at it. Okay. All right, so I have it over here. If you see what this is, is I have my traditional low end, high end performance and size, you know, my segments and I have my rounds 0 to 8. 0 is the report that we currently have, the, the report that we originally get, okay? Alright, so uh, I'm gonna move it over here and let's start with reports and we're gonna go to the traditional segment. We're gonna start here, okay? So I'm gonna put it in my spreadsheet right here so we can take a look. And what we want first it's going to be the ideal position, okay? So we are going to take this ideal position, the one that we have in the customer bank area. We're going to put it in here, which is going to be 5 for, for performance, 15 for size. Cool. Let's just scroll down. We're going to get low end segment. Okay, so low end segment is 1.7, 18.3, right? So we're going to do high end. High end is going to be. 8.9 and 11.1 then we got performance and size so my performance is gonna be 9.4 16 for size we have 4 and 10.6 okay so these are our initial initial positions okay so these are the positions that we got uh, from the first report we're gonna close this up and we're gonna go into reports again. Industry conditions report, that's the very last one, okay? We're gonna scroll a little bit. This is your perceptual map. This is where your products are. Um, and these are gonna be your drift rates. These are the important ones, okay? So we're gonna put in here, drift rate for the additional is gonna be plus 0.7, okay? And then for size, it's going to be minus 0.7. So if you see, I'm just using these numbers right here. 0.5, minus 0.5. Okay. High end is going to be 0.9, minus 0.9. For performance, it's going to be 1 and minus 0.7 for size. And size is going to be 0.7 minus 1 okay now we got that with that we're gonna be able to actually you know figure out what is gonna be the ideal position for all of our products so it's gonna be this one right plus a drift rate and we're gonna place f4 so we remove the drift rate and let's just track it out there we go cool same deal in here, so we're gonna take this one plus a drift rate F4, some Excel, some free Excel for you guys, and then that is our ideal positions for all rounds. Okay, so we're gonna do the same for all of them. This one plus drift rate F4. This one plus drift rate F4. Drag it. Now the good thing about this is that we only have to do it once. Once we have all of our drift rates, we don't have to do it anymore. 
for the rest of the simulation. This is gonna help us forever. Cool. Okay. Easy, right? Okay, so we have all of our ideal positions, all of our rounds, okay? So we're gonna put a pin on that. We're gonna move it over here. Now, what we want is we're gonna make, we're in our same spreadsheet, we're gonna use, we're gonna use it to get us a forecast tool, okay? So forecasting for the first round is gonna be different than the forecasting for all the rounds moving forward, however, for the first round, it's gonna be a little bit different, but this particular tool is gonna to help us pretty much forever, okay? So, easy stuff. We're gonna take all of this, okay? Now, we don't know which one is yours. I'm gonna assume that it, you are Andrews and these are your products, you know, Able, Able, Acre, and all that stuff, okay? I just copy that and I'm gonna paste it just like that easy right actually you know what let's use another tab okay. there we go all right that looks a lot better cool now we're gonna take only yours all right so we're gonna take only your uh, your market share okay so we just did some copy paste the one that we care about is gonna be these ones and your market share okay so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the growth rates. So growth rates. And we're gonna take these ones. So because each one has a different growth rate. Okay. So I'm gonna move these to my side. And let's go all the way to the traditional segment first. And we wanna see what is the growth rate of the segment, right? So it says 9.2%. So we're gonna take it over here, I'm gonna put 9.2%, right? That's a growth rate. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger so it looks nicer. There we go. We're gonna use it through the whole simulation, all right? So you're gonna be seeing me during the whole curse, you're gonna be seeing me going back and forth to this spreadsheet that we're just creating, okay? All right, so let's scroll down. We're looking for low end. Low end had 11.7%. That's cool. High end is gonna have at least 16.2%. Performance is gonna have a 19.8%. And size is gonna be an 18.3%. Cool, so we have those, right? Now, check this out. We're gonna make some formulas in Excel. We're gonna, gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it all right so what we're gonna do in here is this is gonna be our raw data right so in here we're gonna be copying and pasting from our from our um, report every round okay so I in here I'm gonna do some formulas so for example for able let's just uh, put here this is gonna be our products right our products and then for able we're gonna take this one Okay. And then we're gonna multiply that by the units demanded, these two over here. That way we're gonna be able to get what we could have sold last year. We're always using potential market share units, okay? So this is gonna give us the total units, potential units that we could have sold last year, okay? Now that is, we're gonna multiply it by the growth rate right here now remember that this is growth right so it's gonna be it's gonna have to be times one plus this one. yep because it's growth right so that is gonna be your, your formula right here so take a look at it right here okay cool now, this is the same formula that we're gonna apply for all of our products, okay? So, pretty much all of the lines are gonna have uh, this formula. So, this one is the only one that is not gonna move, right? So, let's take 
Now, we always gonna take only the segments that are the target of our products, okay? I see some common mistakes where maybe your traditional product is selling some of the some uh, units in the low end segment or the high end segment and you take those into consideration for growth for uh, your forecast that is a mistake because that's just a happy happy coincidence and that doesn't mean that it's going to happen next year so that is going to lead you to over forecasting you never want to over forecast when you're when you're making your numbers okay so let's do this for or the rest of our products so we're going to take acre which is our low end product times this one times one plus our crop rate there we go same deal in here so we're gonna take Adam which is our high-end times our high-end uh, units demanded times one plus our growth rate there we go now we're gonna take our performance times our performance total units demanded times one plus our growth rate cool all right so same deal we're gonna take agape which is our size product and we're gonna multiply it by the units demanded okay times or one plus growth rate okay so either way, this formula, I'm gonna type it down into the description of this video so you can take a look at it and um, so you can have it in there, okay? So these are our forecasts. So what we're gonna do in here, we're just gonna make sure that we keep forecast. And these are gonna be our numbers right here, okay? So these are gonna be our forecasts. I usually like to, um, round up okay so these are gonna be your forecast now the good thing about it is that once we have our spreadsheet right here all we have to change is this you know just copy and paste the report on from the report and just make sure that your growth rates are not changing around around okay so this is what when it matters and this is gonna be your forecast okay now for round one we're gonna focus a little bit different but we're gonna get to that all right so how about we start doing research development all right, let's do it. 